Hello everybody, today we are going to try and finish a game that uh, I haven't done in a while, but we started anyway, so let's, let's get this done, let's finish this. Slayers of Fear. Now, I may need a moment to reorient myself, I believe these are all the weird ass drawings I saw near the house, we have a mouse problem. Uh, you are an artist who is a tortured artist, and every single time you collect things, this painting changes. I should say, if you're somebody who is easily scared, may not be used to creepy things, you're going to want to take a pass. Uh, these two are my last two that I have to do, and then this whole cabinet is open. So let's review our clues here. This one talks about how he basically used a razor and flayed someone's skin. There's a piece of skin. This was bloodletting. So this was basically someone's blood. This, I believe, is a piece of somebody's bone that he used in his painting for an undercoat and obviously a creepy ass stalker's piece of hair that we have there. So what is left? Has this artist basically try to transcend from being an artist into a real serial killer. I do not think so, although he has a drinking problem, we know. His wife died in a fire. And from the hints I'm gathering, I believe you have a prosthetic leg, which probably led to his drinking problem or helped. And the wife, I believe, was preggers at one point. There are some hints to that in this, and already comes the scary. I just up and started. Could you give me a break, game, before you start this shit on me? Of course not. It would be a cute painting of people, I believe, just doing normal fishing. Uh, and somebody in a net trying to catch a fish. But I know how this game works. You walk around, the whole damn room changes, and then you're like, Oh shit, the demons! Owning this case, they're not demons, but there are books there on the table where there weren't literally books. I can't go in there yet. I will say your guy has an unusual amount of pipes. As a, a pipe smoker in real life, uh, I don't smoke my pipe often. It's a corn cob pipe. I have a nicer one that I'm saving for what they call aromatic pipe tobacco. Save the date of the wedding St. Luke's Chapel. I think I feel like I've seen this in an earlier chapter this year. And then I forgot space bar just basically does that, so I don't need that. Also the lights went out that swell. And I don't believe I have a flashlight or anything like that. And I'm hearing weird noises, and this is not pretty. I don't like it. What? That was not there. Hello, Satan. This says going in circles. And there is definitely a evil undertone to this painting that looks like Mr. Mes Mephistopheles himself, the devil. A group of people bowing before him or prostrating themselves and what I believe is a maybe a bride it's hard to see definitely that is a dark malevolent entity with a goat like appearance and now the effing light turned out and watch this door is going to be shut I knew it was shut didn't I call that shit I called it can I please at least get some light in this bitch thank you Delirious, easy to forget, drunk. Now there's paint. Time, not time. Oh god. What is happening again? At least let me have light. Would you give me light? Oh, alright. Time, not the time. Going in circles. Remember each mistake. Get it right this time. Easy to forget, drunk, delirious. And now. We are, uh, I'm a little afraid of what we're going to find in here, I'll be honest. Now this uses physics controls. I want to talk for a minute about, and give a nod to one of my favorite physics games, Penumbra. 
which was a huge sensation back in the day because it was a physics based game and to my knowledge the first physics based horror game now if anybody knows any other ones uh, drop me a correction in the comments because I don't want to get it wrong here but and I'd like to give credit where credit's due but I believe it was Penumbra the original uh, and they did a few others they did a uh, Penumbra, they did its sequels, and they did uh, Amnesia, still one of the creepiest ass games there is. Uh, I own Amnesia 2, a machine for pigs, I'm told it's not nearly as bad. If you guys want, I'll do the Amnesia series as well for you guys, if you drop it down in the comments and tell me. Uh, that that is something you would like to see. I'll let you guys pick one from the series. Either Amnesia or Penumbra, you guys can pick one. And on an upcoming Let's Play, I will do that. Uh, this actually makes the uh, other series, come to think of it. Wrong World and this. The two series that I am doing. Only this one we're completing today. Uh... I am determined. Oh, God, that is a person. What the fuck is going on? I do not like that at all. That is seriously some, like, Clive Barker shit. That was creepy. No! I'm not a fan of that. Now, I've told you all before, I don't do fake scared. So, I'm not... Oh, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Don't you... Oh, get off me. That was not... That's not nice. Uh, so no, you will not get any super crazy fake reactions from me. I apologize for that, but I would rather not insult your intelligence or mine. If you see me scared playing a game, what you see is really me scared playing a game. And you see me about as scared as I get to playing a game. What I've said before about this game, and I'll say it again, that I do like, is the changing room de- Oh, fucking... I did not expect that when I'm not lying. Um... The attention to detail with the actual wallpaper, the scenes, everything feels pretty well done. But my favorite thing about this game is the changing room dynamic, because I've seen it done in a few other games. But I feel like this game gets it right. It does it better than I've seen it done in a lot of other games. It's effective here. Um, I'm not going to name names or call out other games that I like less than this. And I really can't complain. I got this one for free when it was free for like 24 hours. So I'm not going to lie to you all and claim I spent a fortune on this. I just feel fortunate that I get to enjoy this with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy spending some time watching this. Why in... Well, that's not safe. Clearly they have some health hazards going on here. Along with this giant fucking mouse. The size of a Detroit City mouse right there. That is a... I have seen that near Cass Corridor in Detroit. A mouse that size. Uh, now this door is locked. I'm guessing... Obviously, I don't have the key there. Now, I can't remember. Do I have an inventory? I do not seem to. Uh, this game was described to me by somebody as just a walking simulator, but I'm not going to say it's just a walking simulator. I think this game has a message. It's creepy. That little floor piece there that burst under me actually reminded me of the remake of Friday the 13th. When Jason busted the floor. If you haven't seen the remake, um, I mean, it's not groundbreaking, but I don't know what people were expecting. To me, I feel like it was an effective Jason movie. It, it certainly wasn't the worst Jason. That was Jason vs. Freddy. That was not even Jason. That was Frankenstein. And if you are a Jason fan, then you know exactly what I mean. And if you're a Freddy fan, you're rolling your eyes, and I really don't care. Because the truth is, that certainly was not Jason. Uh, he moved way too slow. Cat, dog, rat. Oh, you assholes. Alright, so clearly here, we need to get to the cat. 
Now, are they saying we follow the black? We're going to do the old thing that we did when we were kids and go backwards. Let's try that, shall we, with the mouse? So that one is what? That one is number four. Deceptive. That one is number four. Do I need this paper? I don't know if I need to do all of these or if I just need to find that. Let's, I better do all these, maybe. Dog. So let's go. Now this is naturally an old trick that they used to use on, I want to say a military test and a sensory deprivation test where they would, for example, write the word red, but it would be in blue and it messed with your brain. So that's what they're doing here. As if you notice, there are two lines that go to dog, but only one can be right, right? So we're going to go to this one, and we get a two. So, so far we got four and two. Let's go to rat. Four, two, eight. Seems to be what's going on here. If I'm wrong, then we'll see. But, um... I don't know where I go now. Do I just go backwards? I feel like this is like the movie labyrinth. Sometimes the way out is the way back. Well, let's see if my theory is correct, guys. My theory is not correct. Did I say 8 or 9? Oh, you dick. This one. Four, two, nine? No. Four, two, eight? Nope. I don't know if I have my mouse sensitivity this high or it's just being a dick for some special reason today that I have no idea. Alright. Clearly that's not working. So I need to go back and take another look and see what I'm missing. I misunderstood the clues. So black numbers first. This and this. What am I really looking at here? Two, seven, nine. I'm gonna try it and I'll tell you why. This game messes with your head. And I think what it may have done here is the squiggly lines may mean nothing. I may instead need to deal with just the colors I see and match them up. And it is not that either. Okay, so, alright, I get it. It's going off my mouse, hold on. Okay. Uh, hopefully my voice is coming through loud and clear. I was told my voice sucked behind the mask by one of you. So thank you for that lovely thing. Okay. The last time I tried this one, I believe, and got four. Four is incorrect. So we're going to go over here. Again, I get four. If I go through here. Hold on. We go through here. Loop de loop. Loop de loop de loop. Dog. So. Four has got to be the first number, so let's try uh, the weird one here with dog and see if that loop -de loops anywhere. Now that is nine this time, so four, nine. Now let's try rat. Seven. Four, nine, seven. Four. Nine, seven, womp womp womp. All right. Somebody is screaming the answer right now at the screen. I can tell. Just like you, dumb son of a bitch. You should have had this. But hey, kiss my ass. Okay, so loop it, loop it, loop. Now this time the cat is number 9, so we'll do cat for 9. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the left, dog. 2, 9, 2. Going to go all the way to the right for the rat, 6, 9, 2, 6. And I believe we have done every combination we can at that point.
Why am I not getting? Let me take another look at this picture. Cat is clearly the first number. Do the colors mean anything? Dog is clearly the second number. Red is clearly the third. But do the colors mean anything? Do they gotta be in the right order? Maybe both have to be accounted for. So let's try this again here. So nine is last. So it's two. Nothing came out to a blue one. Alright, I think it's where I did this one, but maybe I'm wrong. We're gonna do two seven nine. It's just a theory I'm working on, guys, just a theory. Not gonna lie, if I can't get this damn thing, then we may look this one up. I'm gonna look up a hint at least. I told you all, I don't bullshit. So, what you see is what you get out of me. <laughs> Play through. Uh, what? And I think I am thinking too hard about this. Frankly, is what the problem is here. Um, I don't want to know the whole game here, so I don't want to. I don't really want the whole thing here. Uh, oh! Are you effing kidding me? Yeah, I never would have got this, guys. I'm sorry. Apparently, apparently. The way this works is this. All three of these drawings here. Uh, basically, what I will need to do is go back, look at which animal is on the actual paper. In case any of you play this and you don't want everything spoiled, here's your hint. The cat's on the paper, so I need all three numbers that come from the cat. So, nine. A four. And a one in this case. And we will try them in a few different orders and see, but this should be it. No. Four one nine. I really don't want to cheat here. I really don't want to cheat here. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. I looked up a hint. I ended up accidentally wiggling the damn door off by getting ready to try a different combination. Oh shit, more beans falling, more fire. Fire is a theme in this, and it is mentioned early on in it that there is a tragic fire. And there is a baby crying again, I do not... <sighs> I fucking hate that. I don't know how you all are about kids crying in games, but they scare the holy shit out of me. Um, like I've said many a time, I'm from the 80s, where movies like Poltergeist were big, stuff like that, so... Children in horror movies creep me the hell out. 
Oh, I cannot read that shit. Okay, July 19th. Judging by the silence that has fallen over the house, I can safely assume that he has finally passed out, undoubtedly surrounded by empty bottles and tattered pieces of canvas <gasps> that have become his preferred bedfellows. Every time it happens, I pray it will be the last I pray feverently, passionately. This must be his wife pissed off because he drinks too much, which I can't blame her. Our Lord in heaven, let him crack his head open and the rats spew- What the fuck? The rats spew out. Let him cut his wrists in the glass and the red bile flow. Let him choke on his own vomit so that we may all find peace. For if you don't, one day I will find the courage to walk down the steps and end him myself. You of all should know it's not the lack of will that stays my hand. Amen. That, I believe, is from his wife. So the mystery thickens. I thought maybe he killed his wife, but what if the wife killed him and he is in hell? It would be fitting for an artist to have a tortured soul in hell with a tortured canvas. But something has clearly occurred here, and the wife is about ready to kick his ever-loving ass. Um, I don't know if it's just his alcoholism, which I can imagine is hard to deal with, especially for a pregnant Victorian lady, who is probably sick of this shit. I don't know, ooh, that's creepy. A beautiful visual, so congratulations to the devs on a very effective looking uh, scare there. That hallway is very sinister looking. Oh, now come on now, don't do that shit. I feel like, again... Um, I'm gonna say this, though. I don't know... Maybe it's because I've drank wine my whole life. The Italian in me. I, I don't know how people get addicted and become alcoholics on wine. Um... And I'm not judging anybody. I understand it's a real problem, and I'm not making light of it. And please, you know, if you know anybody who is an alcoholic, my apologies. I'm not trying to make light of it. I just, me personally, I could not, that would not be what did me in as far as alcohol goes. I actually don't know, but uh, I know I don't, vodka and me do not play nice. I don't get mean or anything, I just... My stomach doesn't like it, it doesn't sit well with me, it could probably make me ill if I drink too much. Rum and me get along great. I could probably drink way too much rum, and for that reason I drink rum in small moderation, and I try not to do more than a few shots at a time. Um, I just never had it in me to be an alcoholic or to want to be... Okay. Hey, sorry I haven't written you in a while. I've been swamped with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was troubling, to say the least. I can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The lady in black especially. That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you, except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the new buyer is sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. Just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Your friend and agent, Thomas Cadwell. And it appears that I have written down at the bottom here, I don't. Meaning I do not have it in me. So, you are a man who is cracking up. Your wife is clearly sick of your shit. And for one reason or another is... Now to the point of burning your work and wishing death upon you. So the question one I have now in this weird mysterious game is who killed who? Fucking mutt won't shut up! Hey, uh, I can do that too! <laughs> See? But can you paint? No? Well, that's alright. Neither can I. Turned it up just slightly, but uh, apparently I was mean to the dog, so that's not nice. I myself, being a fan of animals, do not approve of that characteristic of this fellow. That's fucked up. I don't know where we're going there. I don't know if... Uh, are these like stairs? Can I hop up? 
Oh, I cannot. Oh, Jesus Christ, I did not see that coming. Oh, you dick. I knew when I turned around you were going to be something else. Don't open. Don't open. It's all around me now. You son of a bitch. I knew you were going to open. I feel like you could wear 3D glasses in this game. And get away with it. Oh, go ahead if the other one's opened. Oh, Jesus H, what in the hell is happening here? That was crazy. Uh, the horror in this is very effective, I think, because it's not overdone. It's enough. It's troubling. Where the hell am I? I'm in a blank area. I'm not yet back at my portrait, and I have not found the weird item. The weird body part, I should say. I seem to find a weird body part each time. Okay, so that's that note. So now I know kind of where I am. But I'm guessing there is a body part that I am missing that I need in order to continue. Because what always happens in the end of it is I find a body part, I go back and somehow end up in the studio, paint the picture, and it gets more grisly and more grisly. So I'm curious about two things. What will the end... You fucking... I don't know why I'm shocked at their mice in this. I keep seeing them, and yet every time they make me jump, little shits. This one's boarded up, isn't it? It is. Um, I probably have my gamma down too low, but I feel like it is. Oh, go oh, fuck that was not nice. That did genuinely make me jump there, people. That was not... That was... What is this nonsense? Nightmare fuel shit. Oh god, chair. Fuck off with that. Don't do that. That is not good. You stay, you son of a bitch. I don't like that. That's... I'm not comfortable with that at all. That's... That's straight from hell, whatever that is. That is like... Again, just creepy-ass Clive Barker-ish. Hey there, princess. What? Oh, <laughs> this is daddy's medicine. Whenever daddy's hurting, this helps the hurt go away. No, don't touch that. Oh, God. I'm so... Wait, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. So was he abusive to the daughter as well? It's this artist guy does not seem like a good guy. I get that he has a prosthetic leg, and back then, he would have probably been in constant pain, because other than ether and alcohol, they wouldn't have done much for him. And pain medicine was not as readily available in decent form like that. I don't... You would think aspirin was a real aspirin back then. I don't think it was credible. Okay, I just got a hand drill. I'm not sure I like that I have a hand drill. I don't know what's up with this weird, horrible, satanic wall. Um, I already feel like this guy deserves the hell he's going through, just based on how horrible he seems to have treated his wife and uh, daughter. I, I did not remember or not, I'll be honest with you all, if the daughter had gotten born before the fire, or what had happened. All I get... What the fuck, dude? That was creepy. Alright, I'm not... <sighs> Children crying and women crying are two of the things that do sincerely freak me out in games. I will admit it. I am sympathetic toward, even like in horror movies, man. Don't I don't uh, I don't like kids crying. It, it's it gets to me. Screaming you get used to if you watch enough horror movies. I don't like it ever, of course, but it comes with the territory. People screaming, people you know, all that stuff. But women crying 
I don't think I'll ever get used to that sound. And I really don't think uh, as human beings we should get used to the sound of people crying. I don't think that's humane of us. My mouse is stuck in the big one today, so... I feel like I have just opened Willy Wonka's door. Jesus Christ, this thing is huge. Well, open, you son of a bitch. One more sort of thing. Dude, I do not like the crown at all. Can I just... I cannot really state that enough, how uncomfortable I feel right now with the crime going on in the background. I do not like it. Quote Run and Stimpy, no sir, I don't like it. This is not... I'm out of my comfort zone as far as horror goes, and that's horror movies or games. This has got me a little fucked up, I'll be honest. I do not, uh... That seriously got under my skin a little. You know, I've played quite a few horror games lately. Maybe I should stop. I haven't had nightmares, oddly. I'm actually really surprised because I, I chill out and I watch... Every night I will watch a horror movie before I sleep to help me sleep. And it's something I've done, again, being from the 80s. Some of you remember the Elvira show. I used to... Always watch one. Oh, that's creepy as shit. Um, but I don't have nightmares when I play horror games, and I don't usually get spooked from horror movies. There have been a few that have got me. Paranormal Activity movies don't get me because I'm not going to watch two hours of movie for a single chair to move and go, woo. but there have been a few that have got me. I would say consistently I can recommend, since we're doing horror, I, I may have recommended it to you all before, but if you've not seen In the Mouth of Madness, put it on your list to see. It is uh, probably one of the greatest H.P. Lovecraft films that is not an official Lovecraft film you'll ever see. What the fuck was that? That was a body for a moment. Oh, shit. Um, but no, I, normally at night now, we, uh, my daughter and I will partake of a, a horror film. Um, if you like thrillers and you like Hitchcock, I actually really have to give a little nod to Vacancy. It was not all too bad. I, I, the sequel was, eh, it's alright. Um, not consistent with the first, actually. There were a few, like, oopses in it, but... Gives some background on the actual thing, but uh, I actually did not mind vacancy. It was it was more of a slow burn thriller, and sometimes thrillers are good. I like thrillers quite a bit. Um, I don't have a favorite kind of horror. I like suspense. I like thriller. I like all of it. This game has certainly got me on the edge of my effing seat. That it's for sure. And, oh, great. Fucking elevator again. Oh, I love this son of a bitch. And I do mean that sarcastically. I do not like the elevator at all. I don't even remember which way to turn this thing. I think I can only turn it one way. Here we go. Got a hammer in the morning. Hammer in the evening. Fair use. Fair use. You can't sue me for that shit. Fair use. Spock saying it. So, don't start no shit with me about it. Although I find it ironic that it's a Star Wars fan, I just sing a Spock song, but oh well. There you have it. And we have arrived. In hell. Clearly I am nowhere. I don't like that. There's an emergency light on now. Can I... I can't turn the handle. Can I turn this? I cannot turn this. What have I done? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You want me to go up there, do you? Really? 
And how am I doing that exactly? Well, next, oh god! That was a human, that was a human, oh god, I'm falling, I'm falling. We are falling, we are falling way too quick. And it's darkness and falling, and there's hurt, there's pain, am I in pain? I am in pain, I hear my heartbeat, that's never good in a game. Oh, shit. And I still have two more body parts to go. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't, I don't know. For your amusement, that's why. Waka waka! Y'all better give me some damn likes, that's all I'm saying, because Jesus. Okay, that was straight up creepy. God, look at how far I fell. Somebody better call Osha on this son of a bitch, because none of this is safe. Dude, I do not. You know, when games were just jump scary, I didn't mind them. Uh, I think what's so effective about Layers of Fear, if I'm honest, is that they mix a pretty decent amount of story and with it, and it makes it much more effective because you actually give a shit about what's coming. Like, I don't know what's coming. I hear something now. Can I use something? Can I get in there? Can I duck? I cannot duck. I cannot jump. Oh, my spaghetti. I am stuck as can be. Have I found a bug? Am I supposed to be able to get past here, people? Is it hint time? Oh, God! Are you kidding me? Oh, that was some creepy shit. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't like screamy, screamy, flip out and throw things, but... Fuck this game. This is creepy. The atmosphere, I will say, 10 out of 10. I like it. I feel like so much of a horror game depends on your atmosphere. And if you have a good atmosphere, you're going to have a good horror game. And they have done brilliant with spooking the shit out of me. And I'm not some... <laughs> okay, my guy's voice is sort of sinister, isn't it? Beautifully made clock, but this is what I mean about atmosphere. You look at the work that went into the modeling of this. The varnish, the worn stain, the scuff marks on the bottom like a real wooden object, the patina on the back of this. Everything is done just so to really bring it alive, and I like that. Um... Because, to me, a lot of horror is subconscious. Uh, for example, a Italian giallo I saw one time had somebody throughout the entire movie, no shit, whispering. And it was done so faintly you could barely hear it. And it wasn't until I watched it a second time I noticed it. Look at the famous movie Suspiria. The opening song done by a man called Gawain has whispering about the plot of the film in it. Um, and it's very sinister and very creepy. And it's to this day one of the creepiest songs. If you haven't heard the song after you do the Let's Play, not now, because you're still watching me. Don't cut this shit early. Um, go look that up on YouTube and find a version and listen. It's, it's quite creepy. And do yourself a favor, for the full immersive experience, do wear headphones. I'm re not responsible, however, for your nightmares, but it is very effective. Uh, now there is that weird hellish looking room. It's like if I was going to find a body part, this is a good place as I need to start looking. Looks like there's something wet there, I don't know what that's about. Nothing I click on is letting me do any clicky stuff, so I'm afraid, as with most walkies, as I 
shall call this game here and there. I do not know what to do, and the game is afoot still. Okay, that's creepy as shit. Again, I really feel like I should be wearing red and blue glasses, and I'd probably get some crazy stuff going on here. Uh, has anybody done that with this game yet? If you have, put it in the comments, and if you haven't and you want to do it, tell me what happens. Put it in the comments. I want to know. Damn right, my heart's beating quick. That was creepy as shit. Oh, goody, now you're standing. Shall we dance, darling? What is going on? Oh, God. No, I was kidding. I was kidding. We don't have to dance. I'm fine without dancing with you. I am passing out at an exuberant rate in this game. I feel like I was not passing out this much before. I feel like he's passing out more now. Uh, just to reflect drunkenness. And now look at how washed out everything was there. Like I said, the environment for this game is really well done. It's very, uh... For lack of a better term, they're lavish. That, I believe, I may be wrong, if that is not a book, that is a snuff box. Now, you all would not know what that is, probably, but for nasal snuff, it was common then. That would be used. What the hell is the phone again? Pardon me, Watkins, I must get to the phone. I'm looking for the tally. It's in a drawer? Did I put my phone in a drawer? No. Look in the drawer. Jesus, look at all the wine. The water. I really don't like that low, like, the low ringing tone. It's creepy as shit. So here's a ceiling kit. Okay, that's creepy as shit. Baby face. So the critics did not like his baby face painting. Oh, that was creepy. War medals. So indeed, I am correct in thinking I lost my leg in the war. Some horrible thing there that I don't know what the hell that is. I have not found the phone yet. This is not the phone, or is it? Am I not just, am I just not catching the clue? No, I believe the phone is in the hallway, so we're going to go in the hallway and get the phone now. And that shit is locked, of course it is. Because why wouldn't it be? I need to get there. And this game likes to just give me the middle finger every time it gets the chance. Oh my god. I do find that phone. Oh shit. 363. Alright, babyface. Uh, I'm with you on this one. But I would like to get the fucking phone before I break it. So where is it? Oh, you son of a bitch. You realize at this point in real life, if I ever hear a phone that sounds like this, I'm going to break it. That was... Yes! We have found a hidden phone. Talk to me! Why won't you talk to me? It wants me to dial number. since I've used a rotary. Let's try this again. That's a different phone ring. Now mm -hmm. I know books are the answer, we will look for another book I can pull it somewhere. Dude, that baby face thing was messed up. Okay, no. Still no. There's still a book. Still a book somewhere. 
I do not like where this game is headed at all. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. There's all sorts of murder going on here, but I don't know who has killed who. Did he kill her? It, it was set up to look like he killed her, but... Men did have longer hair then, so did she kill him? Did she do everything? I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious about all this. I'm trying to figure it out. And Babyface here said 363. We dialed 363, Babyface. But the phone will not let me work. The phone will not let me work, you son of a bitch. Give me a clue, Babyface. Any clue? Somebody, clue. All right. I love the sound of thunder, though. It's very, uh, very pretty to me. It's soothing. Maybe I gotta close this one before I can open another, eh? What happens if I try to close it? I can't close it. Okay, so that's that. Can't leave the room. Can't close it. And that stays on even when I do that. Does any book jump out at me? If these had the titles on them that were easily readable, they could have done some really creepy shit with this. Paradise Lost, you know, Dante's Inferno, uh, Grimoire Satanicus, really, really creepy stuff they could have done with this. Book of the Red Raven, Book of the Black Raven, etc., etc. They could have really went all out and made this a sort of tour de force of creepy shit. Not that they haven't already. This game is by far... As far as a walkie horror game goes, this is a pretty creepy one. I'm actually going to go ahead and say this is one of the most unsettling, genuinely unsettling games I've played in some time. Just for the subject matter alone, very unsettling. Um, I get the psychological aspects of it. Horribly messed up husband and wife. Child seems to have died. Wife seems to blame the husband and alcohol. The husband seems to blame himself. He drowns himself in his work. The wife still wishes his death. Not an ideal situation for anybody. And here we are stuck in the effing study. Oh. So I can play with these. Maybe turn them all off. None of you knows what I'm missing, and you're like, you dumbass, it's right there, I'm sure. Um, you will, however, forgive me, because I am not as... I literally reinstalled this last night to play for you guys today, so this hasn't been on my computer for a while, and that is no excuse for sucking this bad at it, I know, but look, I'm honest, alright, this is what it is. Let's close this. Well, there's no way it would be a book on the same shelf, would it? Probably not. No, would not. So, would it be the same gimmick? Am I thinking too hard? Is it a different gimmick? Do I ring 363 again? I don't know. It doesn't sound like the same phone to me, that's the problem. Again, I hate using hints for any of this shit. Trying to figure out where the hell we are now.
All I had to do was look up. Really? <sighs> okay. Apologies, guys. I'm trying to finish this whole thing today. If I do not, then we will have one more installment. And this will at least get the, the next body part. I'm determined to at least do that for you guys. Uh, I feel like that's creepy as shit. Oh, what the hell do I put in this one? It's creepy. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Something fell. That opened. That opened. Uh, do not fall, man. Do not fall. Do not fall. As I look at things, things are shaking. A hint would be good. There is no hint, however. Oh, hold on, something's happening here. What is going on now? Tell me that's not a person just staring at me. That's creepy. Oh! Is that a door? Is that a wall? What's it? Okay. That was creepy. And uh, be unrest up. Let's look around. Anybody? Any idea here? What am I. What are we looking for exactly? I feel like I should look for another. Okay, so I can close this and open this. But I cannot get up there yet. So that doesn't do me much good. Is there a number? Can I see a number? No. Do I see any numbers? Anywhere around me? Anything? I feel like things are still happening that I'm supposed to witness, so we're going to look around one last time and look up, just in case I get a little tip, some hint. Jesus Christ, this game is severely fucked up. Okay. I'm leaving that open. I don't know why I'm leaving that open, but I feel like I feel better with it open. get it. So that's me on the other side of the place now, and I push that over. So do I put 853 there? In case you're wondering how I knew to put 853 at the other thing, I'm not going to lie to you all. I looked it up in the hint thing because it was pissing me off. I do apologize for that. But at the same time, I would rather be an honest YouTuber who tells you all how I do these things and be like, Oh, look at what I just medically discovered, because no. Alright, I do not know this one. 
So we're going to. Was that a metaphor? Is she saying the phone sells nothing? I guess that one I don't dial. I don't like that. Nope, that painting's gonna fall, I think. I don't know what would happen if I just jumped. Just jumped straight down. What happens if I look straight up? Nothing exciting. So I can't use that, and I can't use that. I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed here, because I thought maybe if I looked at the floor there, it would become the ceiling. But I feel like something just happened out there. Jesus H. Oh, 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 that, that there was new, yes, maybe, guys? Is the paint new? I don't know. What happens if I shut the door entirely and then reopen it? Anything? No, we're still in the same little ass room. Okay. I feel like that's like when you get your first apartment somewhere and you're like, oh well, I thought it'd be bigger. Yeah, same thing. So we're going to step all the way out on this ledge and hope that this here falls. Or something happens. I really don't know what else to do in this game. Uh, I feel like I'm at a standstill. I could either fall, look up and try and warp somewhere, or just fall. So what do I do? And I hate to be doing it like this, but let's see. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. According to this guide thing, I may have very well fucked up because apparently I was supposed to pick this phone up as it fell. It fell already and I did not grab it. So I, I may just tempt to die. So you can die in this. Okay. I don't really know what I expected to happen out of that, but clearly that sucked more than a little. Um, and I did not die, however I doubt I'm in great health. All things considered, my guy is a fairly tough son of a bitch for a guy that has a prosthetic leg. Let's be honest here. And it may very well make me do this entire damn puzzle again, maybe, which is what I'm guessing it's about to do. Yeah, the kid is creepy, man. Holy shit. Okay, so not the whole thing, just a bit of it. Alright, well thank you guys for making sure I do not get stuck. Shit, I still tried to grab it and I cannot grab it guys, I do not know what happens there. I do not know what happens there. I think my guide here is wrong. I'm 
Okay. So basically, I will go here. I do hear another phone somewhere. I'm not gonna lie, I do not like this one. This this puzzle. Only because I feel like it doesn't quite mesh with the rest of the puzzle of the game to me. It feels slightly what the fuck? Three five four. Okay. Now that one I saw. It feels odd to me, I'll say that. Is that it? No, that is not it. Holy shit, we're in a whole new area. Oh, no, 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 no! God almighty, I did not like that. Um, are you guys like me where, like, your palms will actually, like, sweat while you're playing stuff like this? If you're climbing or anything? Oh, God. Well, how in the F am I gonna get that? It fell. Oh, shh. This is not gonna be good. No good, it's going away from this. Holy shit, I just fell through. Ooh, I'll be honest with you all. And yes, some of you will make fun of me for using a few hints and probably be pissy, but hey. I'd rather do that during a Let's Play and keep a Let's Play going than pause it to look things up a lighty well and say I didn't look them up and all that other bullshit. Alright. Genuinely creepy. They needed some. Oh, Jesus. Be, how should I put it? Final touches. A finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off. Easier than sawing away. Washed it. Dried it in an oven. Fell asleep. Almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? So, in the story, he's the guy who seems to be doing the killing and the maiming of people and yet I can't help but feel like a good twist would be if it was the lady and not him. Now we go back here we add the finger to his painting and what do we get? A happy looking fellow. No! I believe we're starting to get his wife. And there it is. So we have one left. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's uh that's messed up man. This thing here I know records things that you have found as well. Pictures, all sorts of other stuff. This one to me was creepy. Um, this is the one where you could tell she was pregnant. There's lots of stuff I have not yet grabbed. That I probably need that I'm missing. So I do apologize for that, people. But the mystery is almost over. We've come this far. Let me take a look here. Screw it. We can do this. It can only be about 20 more minutes or so of this game left. 
we're going to try to get this game solved. If I have to stop, then there will only be one final episode, but the house is in total disarray at this point. The kitchen that had fruit wheat and sucked is a mess. Obviously, this is payment, torment, if you will, for this guy's transgressions. He clearly killed somebody. I mean, that much is obvious. That is fucking grotesque. Wow. That's like something out of one of the episodes of, uh, Tales from the Dark Side right there. And even worse. Rats. Is this a puzzle? Are we at a puzzle? What in the hell? Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. Where can I go? Oh, that is really hurting my ass. Shit, the door is locked. The door is locked. Horrible flying insects. Oh, and somebody's coming toward me. It's a friend. I believe it is his dead wife again. This has to be his dead wife, because she was the one in the paint. And every time she keeps getting closer and closer to me, I seem to black out. Uh, whew. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is definitely a... a I don't know. Another well, option is to hold off and finish this tomorrow. And right now I'm debating what to do. I really don't know. I don't know how long it's going to be or if this is... Okay, now this one's just cool. The door into the floor thing. I... Oh, shit! Somehow I knew not to look up and I still looked up. I feel like the walls themselves are breathing right now. Literally breathing. And that is frigging horrifying. And we are descending down a staircase. It looks like there's blood here. Let's remember to unlock that first. Of course, that door pulls the other way. And, uh, is this silk? This looks like this is supposed to be some sort of silk or silk cloth uh, material. There's clearly a ladder there. Why should I even be standing on that, really? Let's be honest. That's never a good sign in a horror movie. You never want that sound. There you go. No, you don't. I believe we are going to wheel something up from the depths. If this is Cthulhu, I'm running. I don't know that. Ooh, this is so not good. What did this artist do? Just deserve this much suffering, Jesus. Who was this man? What did he do? Obviously, the hints here that we've gotten so far are some sort of spousal abuse, abuse of other forms, uh, I believe spousal abuse anyway, and spousal murder. 
That's what I think he did anyway. I don't know. You guys tell me. I guess soon we'll find out, won't we? I'm hoping the end of the game clears us up once and for all. What his horrible crimes are. I don't know what the point of doing that was if I couldn't grab anything, but I guess we'll see. Yay, more corridors from hell. I think they should have layered this out a little more. Um, when you just slap these out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's better. That's better. That's more what I'm talking about. I did not expect that shit. That's, yeah, see, that's better. Um, I think a quarter, another one, so like the painting would have been cool. What? Do I do here? Anything? Yes, no, maybe so. Would Dean go to the prom with me? I don't know. What happens if I just click on it? Oh, okay, so there are little things up there. So what am I... What am I doing? Well, believe it or not, people, it seems that I have went to the wrong room. So, I do not yet know what I need to play with that, but apparently I must put a code in that that I get somewhere else. So let us go and get that code somewhere else. We're doing this fair. I'm not going to be cheating a bunch and doing all that. I feel bad as it is that I took one shortcut. Wow, so this lady's really just had it with the husband and he is slipping into madness of a sort. To be fair, if this is the shit he's seeing on a... Oh, dude, don't do a kid crying. I told this game I don't like that. I don't like it nose, but still. Why you do this shit, Dubs? It's creepy, and you know it. So somewhere along somewhere along the hell corridor here I must have missed something. I don't know what it was, but I clearly missed something. So whatever that would be, I need to find out how to retrieve uh, how to retrieve it, whether it be a combination, a code, a set of numbers, I missed something. This is a beautiful area. Which means something horrible is going to happen here, no doubt. I feel like this is literally what the narrative is going to be, if I'm guessing the ending of the game. And I'm going to go ahead and hazard a guess that you will find out that you are in hell. There's this hatred of rats again. He has this horrible hatred of rats, this guy. He, all throughout the game so far, has wrote vermin. Horrible things about them. That is a bloody ass knife. Open this fucking door! We need to go! Open it up! Hell is... Oh, God. No. What the fuck is going on? No! Did the wife kill herself, maybe? 
is that his uh, either? I don't know. I got a lot of questions, and there's a lot of narrative in this. A lot of narrative, but there's also a lot of strangeness going on. His visions, his predilection with this child situation, where there is most definitely a creepy thing going on with the kid. What the fuck? Can I do that twice? That was... I can, I can. Okay. So I'm not moving right now, I'm just watching. There is his wife again. Or actually an artist doll, I believe, this time. Made up to look like his wife, I don't know. I didn't get any anything out of that though. I didn't get any like Okay, so this is a different corridor this time. We may be stopping this let's play here and exploring from here on in because I feel like this is gonna be longer than I thought it would and there's a lot I'm gonna have to do still. Um, so I will probably do that you all. So anyways, I am Bones. This has been Layers of Fear. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching so far. We have one more body part to get in the ending, and we're going to do it on our next Let's Play, which will be soon, I promise, because I want to get this thing solved. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out and paying attention, and hopefully you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't, um, tell your friends about us, give us a like, comment some horror movie recommendations, some good ones, spooky ones. Uh, things like In the Mouth of Madness are my style, so things that are, like I didn't like I Know What You Did Last Summer, any of that bullshit, so none of them. Give me some good ones. Uh, thank you guys so much, you guys have a great day.